In an earlier video, I showed you how to set up the git list of files and metadata for the SFTP task uh, to use the metadata inside of a for each loop. In this video, what I'm going to do is show you the same setup, but in this time, we're going to use that metadata in a script task. So the way that we set this up is we have a git list of files and metadata for this setting here. Uh, I have my existing SFTP connection. If you don't have one, you can create one right there. Uh, what we're going to do is go out to the server location and we're going to hit this uh, directory uh, slash task factory. But if you have somewhere else, if you click the ellipsis, it shows you how you can come in here, select your location. I'm not going to use a file filter. And lastly, what we're going to do is use these uh, result variable that I already have set up. But if you need to create a new one, you can click on create new variable and it will create the object variable that you need. Uh, and just as a reminder, the object variable gets set to a data table, a .NET data table. So behind the scenes, when we go get this list of metadata, uh, we are getting a, we're setting this variable to a data table. So that allows you inside of this script task, and again, uh, choose your read-only variable for the one that you set up in your SFTP, uh, SFTP task there. And so we're going to come in here to the script task. And what we're gonna do is take a look at the code that you need to uh, write so that you can take that variable, cast it to a, um, a data table, and then use the rows from that data table in your script task. So here we go. Uh, and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make it so that we can only really see the code here. Okay, and what you'll see here is we have this variable. This variable here, right here, is our user, our files list variable. And you can see what we're doing is we're casting it to a data table. And again, this is C sharp, so this is how you cast it. And then for each row in that data table, by using dt.rows, we're able to grab the value of the metadata from that list. And so in this case, what we're doing is we're looping through all the files and we're grabbing the row data for that particular row or for that particular file. So the first available um, column that's available in this data table is the file name. And then we have the modified date and we have the file size. And you can see here what we're doing is we're converting it to a date time for the modified date and we're converting it to a DTN64. The file size is a long or in db.net and an int64 uh, well, both in C sharp and VB.net, uh, but it's an N64 value. And it, what that is, it's the number of bytes for that particular file. And all we're doing here is you're just showing message, dash, uh, message box that show, but I'm going to run this real quick and we'll see how we can capture or grab that data. Okay. So what we can see here is we have this row and if we can, we can kind of debug this and look through it we have our item array and our item array is the, the metadata that we've set in that data table. And if you want to look at that, you can come in here, you can see there's the file name, there's the modified date, there's the number of bytes. And then more importantly, because we've gone through and we've, we've cast that data, you can see here, here's file name, here's modified date, and here's file size. So you could see how if you have some sort of custom script that you need to run inside of a script task like this, that you can grab those files, loop through them here, and then use them in your whatever script that you need to write. So that's it. That's how you uh, set it up to grab the data table that we, or the metadata uh, that's set to a data table inside of the SFTP task.